is so as promised in my 300 subscriber video i'm gonna show you my setup so without further ado let's get into it so after a lot of hard work about a little bit under a week it's finally finished it took me that long because of the table building the pc setting everything up cleaning it well i just said it like it was yesterday i finished it but i actually finished it uh, around two or three weeks ago, but I just wanted to enjoy it a little bit and then to the setup But yeah, let me start at the heart of this Setup the PC that I built myself, which I'm very proud of the case is a cooler master NR 200 P And it's a really really good case like most of the things you can remove without uh, Taking them apart with screws and like the case comes with a magnetic dust filter Which is really really cool. So it's very uh, easy to clean, but yeah, let's have a look inside um, In here we have the NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti um, I'm not gonna go too in-depth uh, with all the specs because I did a, a video on my channel where I built the PC where you can see more information if you want to know that check it out because otherwise this video would be too long but one thing I do want to mention is are these fans these fans have been a blessing since I've got them um, the the cooling has improved about 10 degrees there's so much quieter and all of the fans I have installed here the ones up there as well so I'm probably gonna replace all of them with these uh, these are the noctua i think na12 such a blessing such high build quality i don't have a lot of experience with fans but even i can tell that these are very well built and you almost can hear them um, especially with com in comparison with the other ones but yeah let me move on to the headphones these are the sennheiser hd 660s very very good headphones i'm very satisfied with them my only nitpick is if you um like want to have very bassy headphones if you like bassy music maybe don't get them they're not the best for that they do have bass but compared to other ones it's not like it's gonna blow away but what is really good about them is the voices oh my god i've never heard such good dialogue in games it's uh, hearing Geralt's voice in The Witcher mwah, sounds so good with these headphones and mostly at placing, playing games so it just takes full advantage of it and also like uh, hearing the environment is so well done with these headphones like you, you can hear everything footsteps and it, it sounds good as well Um, I, I also listen uh, music with it it sounds very good for that as well especially if you like classical or jazz which I do, I like jazz music. Classical, I don't listen to that much, but jazz sounds uh, very good. And other music sounds good as well, but that's probably the one that sounds the best. So let's move on to the next piece in my setup, which is the amplifier. It's called the Shit Magnus. Yes, you heard me right. This company is literally called Shit. <laughs> and what an amplifier does, I'll explain it real quick because otherwise this video is way too long. It makes it so the headset has more power, which means I can turn up the volume a little bit more, which some headphones like these are actually kind of good with how much volume they allow you to do even without an amplifier. Uh, underneath, we have a DAC, and a DAC converts the digital analog from my computer uh, to an analog um, signal to my headphones. And usually you have that integrated into your PC or phone, here is it, and most of them nowadays sound actually pretty good, you don't really need an amplifier. But I thought, hmm, to get that uh, like high-end uh, audiophile experience, I'm gonna get that, but to be honest, for most people, this is gonna be enough. The uh, Sharkoon uh, USB DAC, I don't know if it's focusing, it's not that big actually, I have two things plugged into it. I'm using it to record uh, my audio because uh, as you all know, nowadays they uh, don't put a microphone uh, auxiliary ports in the phones anymore, so that's why I gotta use it. But yeah, you don't really need that, uh, all this, the headphones just by themselves, probably be enough. If you wanna go a little bit further, buy the USB amplifier, you don't really need this, but I bought it already. Because this is actually kind of expensive. This one was about 200, this one was about 200. The, the cable only was about 80. This one 400, so about 1,000 bucks, which you don't need to spend that much. I shouldn't have spent that much, but I already did, so yeah. 
here we have Jutaru Kujo. I don't know if you can see it in the light well. And here I have uh, the AOC 27A something. I don't know the exact name. It's a really good monitor. It has a refresh rate of 144 hertz. It says a response time of one, but usually that's marketing bullcrap. It's not actually accurate. I just put it on the cardboard, even if it's not true. It's actually a very good monitor. I've, this is probably the only one that I've had so far that has the such high refresh rate. And the colors are not too bad as well. As you can see, I have Joe Julian, which I haven't read so far. I've only been on until part six, so this is not true. I've not seen it, but I like the picture so much I put it up there. And um, on the left, we just have the random Dell monitor that I've had for a long time and never really used. Um, but now that I have a PC um, that I built myself, I'm using it. And as you can see, the Elden Ring background. Here we have uh, the Logitech Wireless. Uh, let me actually look at the product name. What does it say? It's a G13. It's a very good keyboard, especially for the price. I bought it for about 80 bucks and it serves its purpose very well. It's not the like the best typing experience ever, but it gets the job done. And it uh, works with AA batteries, and I know a lot of you are gonna say, ooh, AA batteries are bad, but I've had them in for about two years and I didn't have to change them since. And underneath the keyboard, we have a Genshi mouse pad. I don't really play that much Overwatch anymore, to be honest, but I bought this when I used to, and it used to be a very good mouse pad until recently it started to happen it like wraps wraps it off on the table I, I just i wouldn't recommend it and yeah don't uh, mind my cable management and besides it we have the uh, logitech g 305 a very good wireless mouse especially for the price i bought it for about 50 bucks and here's my um uh, very handy headphone stand and something i haven't mentioned yet is the headphone stand that I ordered that uh, I ordered with the table and yeah actually let me talk about the table it's a uh, IKEA Linman table with the Alex drawers you have some stuff in here the road thing batteries and the controller that I use the shield controller I think that's a uh, lesser known controller it's it's okay it's a little weird like with the squares I'm probably gonna get another one and uh, not because of that but it actually I don't know if you can see it but it gets while you do this it actually wraps off the the plastic like I, I can see the dent from the plastic like it's damaging the control itself which is kind of stupid the chair i have a thrust master uh x3 whatever i don't really care about the brand i just bought it because it was the cheapest um gaming chair with still like comfortable to sit on because some of them cost like 300 bucks which i think is way too expensive um, but yeah, this one is really, really good for the price. The, my only complaint is I would have loved if instead of leather, they used mesh just like in the back as well, because sometimes it gets a little bit sweaty, but I do appreciate the mesh on here. And then also we have the mic that I use to stream and record some of my videos. It's the Elgato Wave 3, I believe, yeah. It's a really good microphone, like, especially for streaming. Like, it just allows you to do a lot of the things on software. If you get the Elgato software, and it sounds really, really good. I'm very, very glad I got this mic. And then we have some random ass uh, microphone arm, which is actually pretty good. Like, this is the first microphone arm I've ever bought. I've never had one, and can't complain. Um, and at the end, uh, like right above the screen, we have the, uh, let, let me actually pull it off, Elgato face cam. And it's a pretty good face cam, um, especially for the price. I, I bought it for 150, used to be 200, which is uh, like 150 is still a little bit expensive. Um, but the only uh, like thing, I can't fully take advantage of it because I don't have that much light. I should have like a light pointed towards me, but when I did that, it blinded me. I, I have to figure that out because otherwise this camera would look gorgeous. I saw like other people with proper lighting using it and it looks very, very good. But yeah, let me go to the end of the, the table. <laughs> the mighty PS4 Pro. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been in use that much, to be honest, since I've got gotten this piece. Um, like the last I've used it is when I watched, let me actually pull it out real quick when I watched the Batman and Batman uh, Return. I haven't watched Batman Forever and Batman and Robin yet, 
So it's more of a media machine more than anything, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna go back to it and play some Elden Ring because I started playing Elden Ring here, but now I'm not because I'm on PC, but I'm, I'm gonna play with it eventually. And on the back, we have the NES Classic Mini, a very cool and nifty device. I haven't used it in a while, and sadly, Nintendo doesn't make them anymore. I don't know why, Wait, Nintendo keeps doing that. They like limit their production from stuff, and then it becomes rare, which I really, really hate. And on the back, you can see I have like LED strips, which I can change the color with my phone, and that one's also uh, Philip Hue, both of them. This is the uh, Philip Hue lights, uh, light strip, and this is the Philip Hue bulb. And at the end, but definitely not least, we have the LG C8, uh, I believe, uh, 55 inches, and this TV mwah, is gorgeous. I bought it about three years ago, I think, yeah, 2018, and this has been the best screen I've ever seen personally in my life, <laughs> which is pretty cool that I actually own it. And I actually prefer playing games on this than I do on my... Um, monitor to be honest like with uh i prefer playing on this one with online uh games or like very competitive games some shooters but most of the time like for single player experiences which are the games that i mostly play i play on this bad boy and the colors oh, the, like the 4k and everything is nice but once you go hdr and see the colors the difference between black and white the, the contrast the just the amount of colors it's just ah, it's gorgeous. If you can get your hands on it, it most of the time they, they still cost a lot of good HDR screens, but if you can, do it. Like, it's really, really worth it. But yeah, this is it. Thanks a lot for uh, checking uh, out my uh, setup tour. I've never done a video like this, so let me know how, how you liked it. And if you want to see anything else that or more of the things I've mentioned. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, see you next time.